Hi everyone, it's Paola. So I am back with another video, obviously. Um, but this is a Halloween video and this is my fourth year in a row doing a Halloween video because it's my favorite holiday and I just love making Halloween videos. Um, and this one is fun because it is art related. So if you are a fan of art and if you're a fan of fashion, you will really like this video because it combines both. And that's basically what I do on my channel. Like all across the board is art and fashion. So if you like that and you, this is your first time watching one of my videos, subscribe because I do art and fashion all the time. Um, and yeah, so we're going to be doing five different art and artist related uh, Halloween costumes and they're really really easy and really really quick to do because I know like Halloween's coming up You don't have like a ton of time to think of a costume and blah 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 the, I got most of the stuff from a thrift store. I went to the thrift store and I did it all in one night I got five costumes and really really cheap like I got one dollar dresses Like I got fabric for some of it. You just go to a thrift store go crazy be creative and it's really easy really quick super simple and Yeah, let's do it so the first one that I decided to do is a Banksy street art painting and I did the girl with the umbrella so I tied a string around the umbrella to make it look like the rain in the photo and I was sticking with a black and white theme so everything that I'm wearing is black and white I have a white collared shirt and a black dress and if you really want to go all out you can do like white body paint um, but I didn't want to go all out and I wanted to make it look a little bit fashionable which I think I achieved here. So my second costume is this Degas statue of a ballerina and I thought it was perfect because you just have to put on tights and I got the outfit from a thrift store and put your hair into a braid, tie a ribbon around, and if you have ballet shoes you can use them but it's not necessary and I just think it's perfect. So now we're going to do the girl with a pearl earring and to recreate this iconic look you just have to pull your hair up get some fabric, I got like bed sheets and curtains from the thrift store, and just tie it around with the blue color, and then I got like a tan color, and wrapped it around my ponytail to create the look. And then you can just secure it with any bobby pins you need to, just wrap it around as it works, and then of course you need your pearl earring, and I just found this one that I had, and it is perfect to recreate the iconic girl with the pearl earring. So next up is Yayoi Kusama. She is an amazing, amazing artist. She's probably one of my favorites. And I thought it would be cool to get a wig, which I got at a party store, and just throw on some sunglasses and her signature polka dots. You can do any color, and this was the only polka dot thing I found at the thrift store, but weirdly it fit perfect. So just polka dot it up and you'll be great. And last but definitely not least is Frida Kahlo and I've already done a tutorial on Frida Kahlo and I will link that in the description but I thought she deserved being in this since it was artist related and she is one of the best artists ever. <laughs> Quickly, I wanted to say something about this costume. I did this video two years ago. Uh, I know it was a long time ago, but I did get a comment that just, uh, I wanted to reiterate a point. Uh, I am Latina, I am of Latin descent, and a lot of people have talked about that, you know, costumes at Halloween can overstep boundaries and co cross into cultural appropriation. Um, and I feel like embodying a person that you really, really respect uh, is important and if that's what you want to do you can do it but just make sure you're not crossing into a cultural boundary or overstepping your boundary um, Frida Kahlo does not own florals it's not a cultural thing to wear florals so if that's what you want to do and you love Frida Kahlo and you want you respect her by all means do it uh, I just don't want anyone saying to me like I'm embodying a culture because I am of Latin descent I am of Latin culture so uh, yeah I just want to clear this up and it's so weird to talk about serious things but we have to because we don't want anyone doing anything that is wrong.
Okay, so that is what I wanted to show you for Halloween. I hope you have a good Halloween. Um, if you're not dressing in one of these costumes, let me know what you're dressing up as in the comments below. Or if you took inspiration from one of these, let me know if you're gonna dress up as it. And then tag me like on Instagram or send it to me on Instagram. Uh, my links are in the description. And yeah, I will see you in my next video, non-Halloween related, but have a happy Halloween. Bye. I look cute with a unibrow. I'm gonna grow it out. I'm gonna grow this baby out. <laughs>